On the night before Halloween, October 30th, 2002, Jason Mizell, the turntable wizard known as Jam Master J, was silenced at his 24-7 recording studio on Merrick Boulevard. He was 37. Two years or three years ago passed, and then they'd say something like, they'd be like, oh, and a new tip, the killer had on a blue hat. Then three more years ago passed, they'd be like, Another tip, the guy had on blue jeans, you know what I'm saying? So now they come with a new, something that they say new that was known. The videotape was switched with another old videotape or whatever. What, how is that new? Like, that, that, that was stupid. Like, we knew that in 2002. So much time been passed. It's kind of like one of those situations I feel like they like, if we solve it, good. If we don't, eh, whatever. They don't even know, like, this dude was the nicest, <laughs> that dude was the nicest dude I ever met in my life. I remember we went to a club, we went to Prince, Prince used to have this club in, in L.A. And when we when we walked up to the club, um, the Thug Life group was there, not the Outlaws, the Thug Life with Rated R and all them, they was there. And they couldn't get in the club, because one of them didn't have on, like, the right shirt. So Jay took his shirt off and gave it to one of them. So then they could get in. And I'm like, wow. Like, and that's just, that's just how he was, man. That's just how he was. We just like to say that we're together because of love, because we love each other. Love is the um, key to everything, you know what I mean? God is love. I love Adidas. You know, me and Jay used to argue all the time about who liked Adidas more. You know what I'm saying? Who had more Adidas? But these dudes, they don't be loving the brands. They just wear, they just wear those brands because that certain company giving them a check. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't original. Like, they might be able to fool some of the people, you know, some of the consumers, but they not fooling the real, you know, the real sneaker heads, you know, the real hip hop heads. They not fooling them. You know, you see somebody, they'd be like, oh, I'm with this brand. And then they gave them a check. But then you'll see them the next day on Instagram wearing a whole different brand. They sneaker deal was because they loved Adidas. That's the crew right there, son. We was just out hanging out with Jay one night in some city. This right here, this from 93. This one, uh, they was with Onyx. They was bringing Onyx out on the road with them. Let me see. Uh, this is when um, we did the tribute for Jay and then Flea from Chili Peppers. He signed the sneakers right there. Yeah. And then, um, this is my man, JM. You know what's funny? You know, the funny part about this is that all these dudes that say they love my dude, they never knew his middle name was William. And it was funny because that was like the talk of the funeral. Like I was hearing these dudes like, yo, I didn't know Jay the middle name was William. And I was just looking at them. I was like, these dudes so funny. <laughs> they suckers, man, for real. Yeah.